This workshop has been designed to help faculty members better understand what they are doing well and what they can do better in their roles as mentors to students. We'll use the well-established SWOT analysis matrix on our personal mentoring programs to find ways to improve. SWOT analysis is a strategic planning tool used to evaluate the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of a business project or situation. It provides a framework for identifying internal factors, strengths and weaknesses, and external factors, opportunities and threats, helping organizations develop strategies based on their current environment. SWOT analysis originated in the 1960s at Stanford University under Albert Humphrey, who led a research project to understand why corporate planning failed. The method was developed as a way to assess and enhance organizational performance, evolving into a widely used tool across industries. As a strategic planning tool, the SWOT analysis helps businesses or organizations set objectives, prioritize initiatives, and allocate resources effectively. As a problem-solving tool, SWOT identifies factors that may impact decision-making, aiding in the development of actionable solutions. However, SWOT can also be used for personal development. Individuals can use SWOT to assess their personal skills and career development paths. By providing a clear visual framework, SWOT analysis aids in decision-making by highlighting key internal and external factors that influence success or failure. Now that you have a basic understanding of the analysis, we'll step you through the process of applying this matrix to your work as a mentor. On each of the following screens, we'll offer prompts to help you consider different aspects of your mentoring. Please pause the video and make some notes as you consider each prompt. Strengths are positive internal factors. Strengths are what we do well. Consider not only what you think you do well, but what your students have told you you do well. Pause here and take five minutes to consider your strengths as a mentor. Weaknesses are negative internal factors. None of us like to consider our own weaknesses, but we can only improve by identifying the areas in which we need to improve. Be sure to limit the considerations in this area to personal habits and tendencies. Having too much committee work is not a weakness. Struggling to effectively manage your committee work or having difficulty saying no to additional committee work is a weakness. Pause here and take five minutes to consider your weaknesses as a mentor. Opportunities are external factors that can benefit you or your mentees. Opportunities are often things we have overlooked or failed to consider. Opportunities can be small, like a new phone app that will help you engage with your mentee, or large, like a grant that will support your mentee's research work. Pause here and take five minutes to consider possible opportunities for your mentoring work. Threats are negative external factors. While the word itself carries a significant context, a threat is anything out of your control that can hinder your work as a mentor. As with opportunities, threats can be small or large, concrete or theoretical. Pause here and take five minutes to consider possible threats to your work as a mentor. Now that you've completed your assessment, review your results. Try to identify one small change you can make in the short term to your mentoring program. This might be a change to address a weakness or a way to enhance a strength. It could be an attempt at an opportunity or a means of avoiding a threat. Thanks for watching.